Over the years, Country's Family Reunion has featured your favorite country music legends sharing stories, laughter, and songs. You know, sometimes these country music legends included family duets, trios, or quartets. <laughs> well, on this special Country's Family Reunion gathering, we thought we'd ask all the family groups to sit a spell and sing some songs with us. Brothers, uh-huh. Sisters, yeah. Cousins, moms, and dads were all invited to join in the fun. It's a country's family reunion like no other, and we know you're going to love it. Welcome to Country's Family Reunion, Kinfolk. How about a song from the Sweethearts of the Rodeo? Wow, you guys made so many great records together. You got together uh, on on the West Coast. I mean, not got together, your sisters, but I yes. mean, you you uh, began performing and all on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Emily Lou Harris was involved in some way early in your career, wasn't she? Oh, yeah. She she wandered into the. We we paid our dues, singing at a pizza palace, and um, and uh, develop a pretty big crowd there. And Emily Lou Harris and Rodney Crowell walked in one night said they'd heard about us. <laughs> and um, we're, they were very encouraging. And we did some shows with Emmy Lou. And, and um, anyway, that was just so exciting to see them walk in and, you know, really inspiring. That was the days. Um, that was uh, Emmy's first album had just come out. And she, uh, I'll never forget, she invited us down to, um, there was a club in L.A. called The Starwood. And she said, why don't you guys come down? And we, we do a, a version of Mule Skinner Blue. She said, come down and get up and I you know, got a great band. So it, it was the original hot band. <laughs> and that woman, that wonderful woman invited us up and we got up in the middle of her show and let us wail on this song with the hot band behind us. I'll never, we'll never, ever, ever forget. Well, you won't. I seem to forget a lot these days. <laughs> I'll remind you. You remind me of all the good stories. Well, we're going to do a song um, for you that uh, was one of our first hits. And written by the great Don Schlitz. small town. Mama was a farmer's wife. We knew everyone for miles around. We lived here all our lives. It never even entered their minds that I might not want to stay. But I'm young, I still got time. I got to get away. And there's one stop line blinking on and on. And everyone knows when the neighbors call They pull up the streets when the sun goes down I'm a midnight girl in a sunset town I'm a midnight girl in a sunset town I've seen places on the TV where they stay up all night long Around here it's early to bed and they rise Just too quiet And there's one star light blinking on and on And everyone knows when the neighbors call They pull up the streets when the sun goes down And I'm a midnight girl in the sunset town Everyone knows when the neighbors call They roll up the streets when the 
Sweethearts of the Rodeo. Wow. Sounds so good. Thank you. And again, brings back a whole lot of memories. Don't go too far away. We okay. want y'all to do some more. All right. the, feel to. free to jump and in and join the conversation. We might say something, too. Yeah, we might even speak more. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've relaxed and uh, gotten in, into the swing of things. You know, we have not heard any music from from one of the great family groups uh, of all time and certainly one of the stalwart groups at the Grand Ole Opry and that's our friends Sharon and Cheryl and Rosie and Daddy Buck, the Whites over there in the corner. Yeah, come on up. Absolutely. We talk a lot at the Opry about the Opry uh, being a... Been sitting down too long, Buck? Come on, come on. Come on. Happy. Oh, oh, bless his heart. Come on, Grandpa. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, I, I feel like I'm in Lay Miz dragging the guy. We can't do nothing with him, and we can't do nothing without him. That's he'll, just way he'll, he'll act like that, and then he'll start buck dancing. That's exactly in, right. In a minute. Uh -oh. you got to find your way to the piano, Daddy. <laughs> you don't get a microphone, Buck. You do back there, but oh, wait. <laughs> One night, I, I introduced them, and they sang and then I, <laughs> at the Opry, and, and I went out to, to outro them to take them you know, off yeah. the stage, and I looked around, and Buck yeah. was just like this <laughs> under the piano. <laughs> I thought the old Hallelujah. thing had died. I, scared you bad, didn't it? I thought he'd had a heart attack. It scared me to death. He was just laying. For any particular reason? No, he just wanted to do something weird. It's just hard bought. to get Larry Gatlin. Well, he got me. And he got him. He oh. was determined to. I, I really thought he'd fallen off and had a heart attack. He was, He's probably he was just changing the oil on the piano. <laughs> he was changing. You know you got to do that. That's good. <laughs> That's real good. You're back there. I'm going to try real hard not to hit you. Yeah, it's What's nice. The tooth on the Family reunion show. I'm <laughs> just say it. Did you ever do that, Steve? Hit somebody uh, with you? Oh, yeah. I'm really sure. scared of that. <sighs> Me too. You don't do <laughs> this <laughs> this <laughs> well, maybe we should. This is the first time that uh, uh, I know we're happy to meet you, LaDonna. Nice to meet you, and, guys. Uh, Heard about you a long time. I'm glad to finally loved hear you. Loved your voice for yes. a long time. Well, when we first heard the Gatlins, you were in there with them. Yeah. <laughs> you sang on Broken but, Lady, didn't you? Yes, sir. Did you sing on any of the other uh, big hit That album and one previous to that, yeah. I guess. Wow. Yeah, the high harmony part. Broken Lady was a pretty big hit. You might also. Huh? Do you ever thought of using her again? No, we can't. <laughs> we don't pay enough. Oh, She's okay. already. Yeah. That's right. Uh oh, he's going to crank that one. <laughs> You're going to keep that and going. Let's well, hear a good song from the wife. This is the first time that Rosie has joined us on a family reunion. So well, we want to thank you for having me. Just watch her bass. That's this right. is sister number three. There are four happened. of us girls. Daddy said all of his boys were girls. <laughs> this is one we sing around. <laughs> Your dad said. <laughs> Sharon, I'm glad to see that he's. Buck's going to play the piano. This is a piano style that no one else plays. And it's one of my favorites, so I'm thrilled. I get I'll, to hear Buck on the piano. And I always root for it too, Rhonda. I, 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 it's just hmm? not right. She's a bragging we're, on the We're talking piano about you, Dad. Dad. Uh, I can't hear. <laughs> He's not too bad on the mandolin either. Not too bad on the mandolin. <laughs> All right, we're going to do Swing Now, Sweet Chariot Stop, and Let Me Ride. Let me 
back with more got to mention one thing and and that is your connection to Branson because I know you've been in Branson uh, a lot I know the Lennons have done a Christmas show for years at the Andy Williams Theater uh, we lost Andy Williams recently uh, are, are you girls going to continue to do your, your Absolutely. shows at the theater? this is our 19th year in Branson yeah. and we always have the Christmas show November through December mid-December, and we are doing our Christmas show there at the Moon River Theater. They're having a very special celebration of his life uh, next, week. next week. The Gatlins yeah. will be there, we'll be there. Everybody's gonna be singing special songs. And it's, um, we, we hope that, I mean, the theater's gonna go on, it'll have a Christmas show, and we'll just kind of see what happens in the future, but all of our hearts are broken because he was just yeah. really He's a good special guy. To us. A special man. I think you're gonna do a tribute to him, aren't you? I would love to. I think that would be very, Is very fitting people? because uh, again, while Andy Williams was not necessarily a, a country singer, he did build the theater and operated for a long time in Branson. He did a lot for a lot of our country artists, uh, Ray Stevens and I others. don't want to walk in front of you. You're the no, host. go ahead. No, please go okay. go right ahead. Okay. That was very rude, Larry. I, well I <laughs> I gave you a chance to shut up. You just wouldn't do it. Well, these, guys, these three guys right here are three of my very favorite singers in the world. But next to these three, I guess Andy Williams would be fourth on my list. So, Andy, this is for you. And I know you're looking down on this. Thank you. 
like it from here, guys. Waiting around the bend, my huckleberry friend, Moon River, and me. I can die happy. I thought if y'all would allow me to just adopt everybody in the room here and play like we're, we're kin folks, I'd like to get you to help me do a song, if you would. Do we know it? Larry, it is so simple. There's one word, and if you need a cue card, I'll get you one. Okay. Well, y'all screwed up kin folk. How do you think the chances? That's just one word. <laughs> when, when, I, when I made this record... Years ago, way back in 19, <laughs> way before uh, Savannah and Sarah came along, and most of the rest of you, I had the fantastic Anita Kerr singers in the studio oh, with me, wow. and they added, they, they were normally, what, a four-piece group, I guess, and sometimes six. Well, to do this particular session, I think there were either 10 or 12 of them, wow. because Owen Bradley had, had envisioned this to sound like, a, you know, a really big group of people, and they had the most incredible sound. They sang one word with a little bit of an echo kind of a thing to it, and I've always wondered what the success of this song would have been without them. It probably wouldn't have been very much. So if I could get everybody in the room one time, just to s hit me an E flat, Mike. Hit me an E and I'll go flat. I just, I, all, all I want you to say is, is I'll, I'll count everybody in. One, two, three, still. Don't drag it out. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just. Owen, Owen told the Anita Kerrs that night, I'll never forget it. He said, I want it to sound like a little bell. Still. And that's kind of what they make. We'll practice it one time. One, two, three. Still. Though you broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there's a lot of great singing talent in this room. Still. Sit up straight and take Still. a good deep breath and everybody help me with this because I need all the help I can get. All right. Me and all of my kin folks and my adopted brother Larry. Still. Oh, you broke my heart. Still. Oh, we're far apart. Love you still. After all this time, you're still on my mind. I love you. Yeah, help me on that part too. I've lost count of the hours and I've lost track of the days. In fact, I've lost just about everything since you went away. Everything that is except the memories you left me. And that's one thing that no one can mar. I don't know who you're with. I don't even know where you've gone. My only hope is that someday you might hear this song. And you'll know that I wrote it especially for you. And I love you wherever you are. After all this time, you're still on my mind. I'm singing this to you, Yankee fan. soul flame in my heart is like an eternal fire for every day it burns hotter and every day it burns higher and I haven't been able to put out one little flicker not even with all of these tears my friends all think I'm crazy maybe I am 
But I'll carry this torch just as long as I can For someday you might just decide to come home And I want you to know I'm still here After all this time, still, you're still on my mind. We'll be right back with more. Thank you. Jeannie Kendall, you've probably put in the longest day of anybody here. You sang the first song <laughs> that we sang when we uh, started the Ken Folks reunion yeah, show. Everybody was here, though. So they've been we haven't heard anything from you since, really. Could we get a couple of more songs on sure it can. before we go? <laughs> this lady still sings as great. Oh, she sings great. She is just a... She a, still sings... I got it. She still sings great. What do you, what do you mean you still. got it? <laughs> well, you just looked at me. She said, you said, she still oh. sings I great. Not what I did. Did. No, I didn't. Just every time, <laughs> still sings <laughs> uh, He's it's adopted. fun to mess with you. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> what you got oh. for us, Jenny? Uh, well... well Darren and, and Ron Darren are going to help, me again. Gonna help oh, wow. me again on this. They're so sweet to do that. I'll tell you what, I couldn't think of anybody else better to sing with me because you, you do so great. I just, I just love you. Now she told me she was going to work up in Branson. I'm going to have to come visit. Are you going to come see me? I'm going to try to come oh. see you. Yeah, I sure hope so. We'll have fun. Yeah. <laughs> this was a big hit with the disc jockeys when you recorded Yeah, and it, so. I think it helped us out a lot too because we couldn't make it without radio. We probably wouldn't be sitting here if there wasn't radio. Would yeah, we? well, that's true. Yeah. It, everybody's case. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. All right, for the, all the radio folks. At the wrong end of the highway When the long night has no end When there's no one here beside me Till I hold you once again Thank God for the radio When I'm on the road When I'm far from home Feeling blue Thank God for the radio Playing all night long Playing all the songs that mean so much to me 
guys are amazing. Darren amazing. is standing <laughs> over here. I'm probably the only person in the room that hear me. You just understand that's amazing. That is that's amazing. amazing. <laughs> you sound so crystal clear and perfect and pure. It's just unbelievable. I love it. Yeah, but you don't even you don't even rehearse, and you sound absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was looking through a, a resource book backstage before we came in here. I did not realize you only wrote one of the hits that the Kendall's one. recorded, but you wrote one that went all the way to number one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I, if I, I really, I'd be I bragging if I was what you. What happened was, is um, we needed another song and we needed up-tempo real bad when we were doing an album. This was our second album. And so we, uh, this was before we had a bus. We had a motor home and I was, we were sitting out at a club in St. Louis outside and I got this idea and so I told Daddy and he, whatever, worked. Worked it out just a minute there, and then I had to go do the whole show, and I was scared I was going to forget it because I thought, well, this might be okay. But I remembered it, so <laughs> so we recorded it. Tell my daddy playing the car. Did do you play an instrument? Did you ever play an instrument? I I uh, play very badly. <laughs> really? No, I, I'm one of these people that I'll pick out chords and and I'll strum around to write something a little bit, but mostly songs just come in my head and. I've always been blessed about it. had my dad to play, and then I had my husband to play. And who wants to play when your husband plays that well? I don't need to have to play, you know. Uh, so. Well, I just wondered, because of all the shows, and we did a lot of shows mm -hmm. together, uh, I didn't think I'd ever seen you play an instrument. No, I just uh, always had somebody to play for me, so I just was too lazy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, lay that number one song that you wrote on us. You remembered it when the show was over, obviously. I remembered yeah. it. If I can remember it now, it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> with Darren and Rhonda Vinson. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> was that, that was
was because of you. He didn't do that when he took my picture. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, ooh, because of you. <laughs> Here's serious pictures. Yeah. Are we serious? Or are we, are no, we we're laughing. laughing. We're happy. People um, like us being happy. Uh, give me some serious ones. Okay. But, but, uh, Absolutely. <laughs> like I said, serious is probably we're better. Serious. And uh, we'll get a couple smiling ones just for the record, but right. just in case somebody asks for something. All righty. You go to my head. You go to my head. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this is a medley of songs that are definitely not country, uh, influenced by Andy Williams in the years when people knew, just really wanted the Lennon sound. And uh, it's just a lot of good old songs. It's a medley of four different songs. Yeah. Uh, when I fall in love, it will be for that song. And, and uh, Moon Glow. It must have been Moon Glow. Autumn Leaves. Autumn leaves. And so they go to my head. So they're real tradition, real you know, and uh, old standards. So a little bit different, a little bit changed, <laughs> but but the same kind of family harmony. Yeah, and it'll fall yeah I think I was 16, 15 14 or, 16. or 15 mm -hmm. years old. We did his television show, and we just... We always just loved him. He loved us, and um, eventually, when we got in our early twenties, we just hooked up with him. We went to Vegas for years and years and years. And Caesar's Palace always did a, had an act together, and did all man, his television we loved shows singing with him. And for he's years. like a brother. He was like a brother, and it was the kind of thing there. Then when we went to Branson, and we are from California, we're beach girls, and someone suggested we go to Branson, and we said we don't even know what a Branson is, and Andy called us, and the Osmonds, John Davidson. But Andy said, your family belongs here. You need to come. And it was really one of the reasons we went also. Yeah. And now here we are, kind of full circle, and we're appearing yeah. at the Moon River At his theater, theater right. Christmas, so yeah. it's great. So it's pretty special. We'll miss him, and he'll be in our hearts forever because he is an American treasure. Nobody like him, that's for sure. What a fun day this has been with people that we don't see all that often, but whose talents we admire and whose songs we'll never forget, and to be joined for the first time by, by the, the Lennon sisters, what a special day it's been to have you here with us. I told them during the lunch break, they, they may be from a different field of music, but just the way that they have blended in today, it's like the old Johnny Rodriguez song, they have hillbilly hearts. <laughs> Absolutely they do. Kathy, tell me, you, you were talking about um, Telling me a little bit about the touring that you're doing now. What kinds of places yeah, you're playing? Yeah, we've been in Branson. Like I say, this is our 19th season. And for many, many, many years, we went on the road. And then when we went to Branson, we stopped all of that. Well, just the last couple of years, we've been doing a bit of touring. And wow, it's just amazing, you know. And I'm sure you all feel the same way. Your fans are so loyal. Oh, I mean, you're place. there. And all of a sudden, you felt, you know, it's just like you sold out here. And you sold out here. And it's like, wow, they still remember. And we're in our... 56th year of performing. And that's just amazing. Well, not Mimi. She's only 56 years old. <laughs> but that, that is really amazing. And um, so that's something that, in, and being around all of you, you know, uh, one of the things that I've been realizing, everybody, their hit song, hit song, hit song. We really, d probably the only group, definitely sister act, but group that made it because of television. Not because not of records. records. Yeah. We had a few kind of, you know, number ones of sad movies made me cry in Japan or something. But, <laughs> you know, we really didn't have that hit record. It was television that made us every single week. And um, we are honored, just honored, honored to be with all these stars, these fabulous stars, and these new stars to be. Yeah. And um, I just, um, we just enjoyed it and felt so welcomed by you because we aren't the little bit country at all, and yet we, I think we're going to have to add a number in our yeah. show. <laughs> you know, definitely. Well, make just sure make it's sure men. it's not men. I know, I know. I don't know. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Better they are hardly fall. Better they is. are. <laughs> I know you've got a little medley worked up. We do. Uh, that's going to kind of, I guess, take us back oh, wow. kind of across the years musically. <laughs> just a little something you worked up. Just, just didn't even rehearse it, oh. did you, girl? <laughs> just threw it together at the last minute. Well, this is something that 
all the different songs we sang, and of course we loved all the 60s groups, the, the Ronettes and the Shirelles, and we, well, I wanted to do all of those songs, and the Supremes, and we sang on the Lawrence Welk Show. So um, one of the things that he loved, he always used to talk about, was the Lennon sound. And um, the other incredible mentor that uh, loved our sound, and um, really all these songs reflect his essence, is this treasure in Andy Williams. And uh, we would like to do this medley, which is definitely not country, but I bet you know most of the songs. <laughs> When I fall in love, it will be forever, or I'll never fall in love. In a restless world like this is, love
the bubbles in a glass of champagne you The kicker in a julep or two The thrill of the thought that you might Give a thought to my plea Cast a spell over me Still I say to myself Get a hold of yourself Can't you see? Like a summer with a thousand Julys You intoxicate my soul with your eyes Though I'm certain that this heart of mine Hasn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy You go to my head You go to my head You go to my Thank you.